time to board. Let's f***ing go. Begin. Go for Arbitrum airdrop. So the Arbitrum airdrop has taken place today. You're probably thinking, how many shekels worth do you have? Well, in this video, we're gonna discuss the potential price predictions for this token. Looking at some of the data here, starting with Coindesk's article today. Now, if you do enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's jump on in. So Arbitrum daily transaction count hits a record high ahead of its token airdrop. You can see by the graph just behind my head there, up to 1.3 million transactions recorded on Wednesday. So that was a brand new record up from the previous record in February of 1.1 million. And it actually eclipses the total number of transactions processed on ETH mainnet over the same time frame. So on Wednesday, 1.3 million on Arbitrum, 1.08 million on Ethereum. Now this is gonna be a bit of a shift that we're gonna see going forward. The layer twos are gonna have the most activity and then ETH being used as the settlement layer by them. I think we've already seen this and we'll continue to see this, that Arbitrum is the go-to L2, has the most users, has some of the best dApps arguably, and it's attracting a lot of capital inflows. So that is one of the main things. The whales are utilizing Arbitrum. So I think in terms of valuing this thing, you've got to value it as if it is going to potentially be the biggest L2 and so that will come with a price tag. Now it says Arbitrum, the leading scaling project with its optimistic rollups, has increased user base by 400,000 in just two weeks. There was already a large user base prior to the token airdrop being announced, but of course, a lot more people have bridged over and started to interact with this ecosystem. So 625,000 DGENs are eligible for the airdrop today. And first price prediction here is based on the IOU market you might have seen. I think it's on CoinGecko. And that reckons the token value for the Arby token here could be six bucks after the airdrop. So as I'm filming, just two hours to go before we come to Arbitrum.Foundation and claim our airdrop. Do make sure you do not click on scam links. There are in tons of them going around right now. Safest method, going through the official Arbitrum websites and finding these things, maybe the official Arbitrum Twitter account, but there's loads of Twitter accounts with Arbitrum with slight misspellings in them. So please do double, triple check before you rug yourself and you end up giving your wallet away to some dickhead. So in terms of the L2s, so this is the CoinGecko list for L2s. As you can see, it's pretty much Polygon Matic. And then from there on down, we've got the likes of Optimism in there, IMX, but none of these have wide scale user adoption like Arbitrum. So Polygon is the one that I would say that's the price tag we want to aim for. Current market cap of Polygon, the Matic token is $10 billion. So at that kind of valuation with the number of circulating tokens for Arbitrum, it's approximately, well, just under 5 billion tokens. That would put it at a price tag of around two bucks to get the same circulating market cap as Polygon here with 10 billion. So super interested to see whether we initially straight out the gates get Arbitrum valued above Polygon. I know a lot of people who are like big whales in the ETH space definitely will value Arbitrum higher than that of Matic. And that price tag of around two bucks, FDV at around 10 billion will also put it at a 10X above Optimism as well. So just super interesting to see where the lay of the land is after today. Of course, the first few hours of trading going to be anybody's business. But as you can see here, I did a video the other day on Arbitrum, how to bridge, because you may want to cash out and bridge to other networks of your choosing. So do check that one out. We went through three different bridges, all with various user experiences and their own plus points to them. So do check that one out if you're looking to bridge your funds elsewhere. When it comes to swapping funds, of course, you could support their own with the Camelot Exchange or Grail, as that is the token name that most people know it by. But I'm super interested to see if people do just paper hand the ARB token straight out the gates because it is just an airdrop or not. Also noting SushiSwap with their Arbitrum integration as well has a load of altcoins on there on the Arbitrum ecosystem. For example, this one on screen here, which you can't find on Camelot Dex. 
Quick interlude for today's sponsor, which is Cointracking.info. These are the ones I've done my taxes with this year. And of course, if you do claim the Arbitrum token, that will be a tax implication. You have to pay capital gains on that. It's coming up to tax season in the US as well. And if you check out these plans here, so up to a pro plan is 3,500 transactions per year. So you may fall within that bracket, or if you do a little bit more trading, the 20,000 transaction bracket there. Now what's cool about this is you can actually just do a lifetime plan with them. So you only have to pay one time and then use it forever, which is gonna be most cost effective. As you can see, if you can do just the pro plan, 3,500 transactions or less, that's only a $449 one-time payment, and then you can use this tax software every year forever. On the slightly higher end there, we have the $1,099 package as well. Your Arbitrum airdrop, very likely to be able to cover all of these straight away. And with the code down below, clicking my link, you're gonna get 10% off this as well. So bringing that down to roughly 400 bucks and just under $1,000 for lifetime access with the best tax calculator that I have found. Now back into the price speculation. So there's been a load of OTC trades going on for the RB token a lot of which are just posed by scammers, but there have been legit accounts that I follow who have actually sold their ARB airdrops before getting the tokens here. So OTCs have been going on, and it seems that yesterday there was quite a lot going through at around the $1.30 level. So could this be a key point as well? Obviously with people wanting to buy at $1.30, they're expecting some upside from that. And of course, maybe if you've got a 10,000 token airdrop and maybe you've got a couple of wallets running, well then why the hell would you not cash in around 11,000 bucks if someone wants to do an OTC? The kind of range of prices I've seen for OTC deals was between around $1 and up to just around $2 and change. But I think the most important thing to look at here is the token distribution to get an idea of how many tokens will be circulating and how many will be potentially spent or sold on the open market. So the vast majority of tokens are going to the airdrop hunters or the users of the Arbitrum ecosystem, which is good to see. You want a lot of community holders to get the benefits or reap the benefits of utilizing the ecosystem overall and playing on the chain. And so a lot of people have got these tokens coming to them in the next few hours. Probably by the time this video is out, you will have yours in your wallet. This is the breakdown though of the distribution today. So 23rd of March, 2023, 1.162 billion tokens airdropped to the users. The remainder of the breakdown is as follows. The Arbitrum Dow Treasury gets 4.278 billion tokens, so a roughly 42% of tokens. Note that this Dow Treasury will be controlled by holders of the governance token Arbitrum via voting, so on-chain proposals. So this one is kind of maybe a community basket of tokens, but of course they're going to have to spend this thing on maybe like team costs, legal fees, that kind of things as we progress, maybe exchange listings if exchanges are needed, but I guess most of them have already listed Arbitrum. There's 2.6 million tokens going to the team, future team and advisors. These are locked for one year cliff. And then they vest over a three year period. So by 2027, investors as well, similar setup, individual wallets. So that's us guys getting 1.16 billion tokens and then DAOs in the Arbitrum ecosystem, 113 million tokens. So that is where you've seen Project X. So for example, GMX getting a load of tokens. They were the big beneficiary from this. There's a chart just below. As you can see from this that Nansen put up on their dashboard, GMX getting 22% of their airdrop, Treasure Down, Magic, 19%, Sushi, Uniswap, Hop, Radiant, etc. Now, of course, all these will have different methods of distributing the tokens. Some may not even distribute the tokens. Maybe they'll just hold them as treasury assets for the long run. But I expect some will use them as some form of liquidity mining or incentivization to get people to use their specific project. So that's roughly 1% of the tokens going to the various projects. Then we of course have 11%, 12% going to users. You can see most people got between the 625 and 1250 token range with the biggest winners getting over 10,000 tokens. It was 10,250 was the biggest one. I think 4,400 addresses got that. So really interesting to see. And of course, some of the OTC guys are probably some of those bigger accounts as well. So a question I was thinking about was, if a lot of people have already OTC'd 
their tokens away. We're just seeing the movement of ARB tokens from weak hands to stronger hands. And people who think that the token price is obviously going to go up, you're not OTC buying if you think you're going to make 10, 20%. You're going to look for multiples. So the documentation here suggests that around 55% of arbitrum tokens will effectively be distributed to the community. So a dilution is going to come later. We can see this from token unlocks over here. So this is the vesting schedule. So this is today's date over here. So we have 5.553 billion tokens in circulation. So that is the circulating supply broken down with those DAOs in the Arbitrum ecosystem, i.e. the projects, individuals, me and you, and the DAO treasury as well. So my question is how many of these are actually going to be for sale? Of course, the individual wallets break down 1.16, so around 11% of total supply will be. But I don't see the project tokens hitting the market anytime soon. There's going to be some form of governance, I would expect, independently between these guys to work out how the community wants them distributed or if they just start doing liquidity mining things. It's going to take a little while for that to get set up. And then on the final one, we have the Arbitrum Treasury itself, and they haven't even had their first proposal passed yet. So these tokens are not going to be sold on the open market without due process taking place. And having read through the documents, even if they put a proposal up today, it takes around a month for anything to get passed through. So in my mind, we're only looking at around 1.2 billion tokens actually available for dumpage today. And then fast forward to a year from now, that is when the big cliff unlock comes in. Team, investors, etc., all get in their hands on some more tokens. And so this time next year, you would expect there would be a bit of a sell-off there as profits are taken. But do note this will time nicely for the Bitcoin halving event as well and the next cycle of bullishness. So did they plan that all along, I wonder. First proposal is up and live here, AIP Arbitrum Improvement Proposal number one. This is where they put together a framework that needs to be passed and it's going to vote. Obviously the token comes out today, so voting can take place after this period. Security Council members are named, they get 12 to sit at any one time in two cohorts, each of which members are paid 5,000 bucks per month in ARB tokens. So think of that as a spend of 110K in Arbitrum tokens each month for these guys to sit on the panel there. And if we do go down, there's a little bit of shenanigans potentially around these tokens. So there's an initial setup cost of $3.5 million. Of course, that is a speck of dust in comparison to crypto unlocks we see across the board. And of course, there'll be a lot of interest in the Arbitrum token anyway. So that'll get absorbed by the market pretty damn quick. But that will be an initial cost. And I assume they have to sell the Arbitrum tokens to actually get that money. But see the yellow highlighted area here. So the Dow Treasury had over 4 billion tokens in it. But straight out the gates, it says this. 3.527 billion ARB tokens have been transferred to the DAO Treasury. The Arbitrum DAO will have direct on-chain governance powers over the DAO Treasury in accordance with AIP processes, as you can read in the above. However, then the blue, direct your attention to that, 750 million tokens, so that is the difference between the 4.2 that we saw on the other page and 3.5 here. These will be sent to a administrative budget wallet for the purposes of making special grants reimbursing applicable service providers for the total setup costs and covering ongoing administrative and operational costs of the Arbitrum Foundation. Further funding of the administrative budget wallet shall acquire approval by the AIP process. So it is by that calculation, I guess these 750 million tokens may be required straight out the gates potentially as they've siphoned them off already. 750 plus the individual wallets 1.1 and the DAOs another 0.1 bill. We are crudely looking at 2 billion Arbitrum tokens actually available for sale straight out the gates by my calculations here. So 2 billion actually circulating in my mind multiplied by 5 bucks equals that 10 billion market cap the same as Polygonmatic. That is the kind of area I'm looking for here. So I'm crudely putting a price target of up to five bucks on the Arbitrum token here. Of course, anything can happen. I did see that Invest Answers, James said he wouldn't buy unless it went down to 40 cents. I do not think that will happen. But my initial price target for Arbitrum was two bucks. I would not sell it below two bucks, but I think it's kind of fair game between three, four, five dollars. That is obviously quite a wide range there, but that's the kind of price levels I would expect here to really rival Polygonmatic. But of course, there's a lot of whales in this game 
And if they really do wanna stick the price right up there, I would not be totally surprised if we can breach five bucks plus. Especially when you see this, this is the stable coins on Arbitrum here. Over the last seven days, an increase of stable coins by 10% yet again. So 1.67 billion of stables are now on this ecosystem. Big blue candle to the right there. Are these dollars flowing in for the ecosystem more broadly or are they flowing in to buy up as many Arbitrum tokens as possible? This signifies whale activity amongst obviously a lot of retail participants as well. But when I see a chart like that with huge amounts of dollar inflows to a specific chain, that does make me very bullish on the chain, the token itself, and of course its wider ecosystem tokens as well. So I think we're gonna see a nice bit of a party here for Arbitrum airdrop users and of course the ecosystem more broadly but let me know down below how you are going to play this one and what your price targets are crudely mine two to five bucks but who the heck knows certainly not me subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you in the next one guys peace